Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Soul Set. So, in this episode we're gonna say no deal to Howie Mandel here. And uh He's yeah. in the other game. Oh yes, that's correct. Wrong game, whoops. Thanks, Aaron, but my wits haven't abandoned me yet. Yeah. I get the weird feeling a night with you would get me killed. Huh. Well funny enough it wasn't really the night itself, but there was some stuff that happened afterwards anyway, so close enough. Come now, I'm not into dead people. Huh, I don't know if I'll take your word for it. What's the fun in it when you can't hear your partner squirm? Yeah. Oh, stop that! Are we doing her, like, arm pressure thing again? Or tail. Oh, okay. I swear there's no talking to you. That's because you're forgetting to behave. Oh. I have a different deal to offer you, though. How about you help me get out of here and kill the demon outside of the barrier for us? Interesting. Our own sister. In exchange for what? A night with me. What? Oh no! We still have to do it! No. How the hell is that different from the deal I just offered you? We're making on our terms. The difference is that I'll sleep with you after we get out of here safe and sound. Hmm, very clever, Marika. Very clever indeed. I see what you did there. What's it gonna be, Varen? This way I'll have the guarantee that you won't screw me over. Well, you're smarter than you look, I'll give you that. Thank you. To hell with this. Fine, let's do it your way. I'm feeling up to the challenge. Up to the BK challenge. Just a night with you won't cut it, though. I want something more. Oh, great. Now what's this gonna involve? Like what? How about you agree to fulfill my every wish during that whole night? <laughs> I don't know about this. This sounds a little bit sketchy now. I'll get to do with you as I please, and you won't be able to say no. There has to be some condition we could put on this. Can't just, like, kill us as you please. <sighs> that sounds like having a death wish. I won't kill you or harm you in any permanent ways. Okay, so this is getting a little bit better. You have my word. But Still can you trust the word scary. of a demon? Uh, I don't know. Usually they do stick to their words, except you have to be very, very careful with your wording. Right. Because usually it will come back to bite you. Fine, then. We don't even get a choice. <laughs> Guess Deal. not. We're taking whatever's in the box. Off to work, then. Meet me outside once you're done with your bath. Call your pesky friends over, too. <laughs> Those pesky kids. And that meddlesome cat, Mutic. Hmm. Are all lost souls gathered here with us today? Is this what we already had? No, this is different, isn't it? Oh. You sure you don't want a pair of pants? I mean, the last time she got everyone killed, so I'm pretty sure it's different anyway. Ugh, forget I asked. Here's a question. Have any of you tried simply walking through yeah. the barrier? Oh, man. What a trick. What? Yeah, she said the same thing the last time. She was like, oh, is everyone gathered here and it's just us? I'm like, why is she saying that? <laughs> of course we tried. Apris said he kicked the barrier and that it didn't budge. Apris, you say? Mm-hmm. And none of you got the idea to question that and double check it for yourselves. Why do you think Apris couldn't walk through it? Yeah, yeah, we all know now. If he'd been able to do that, I wouldn't be in here right now. Wait, don't tell me. Yeah, it's a demon barrier. Demons can't walk through that barrier, Mariko. But humans can. I want to see how everyone else reacts to this. You have got to be kidding me. Is this supposed to be a joke? <laughs> Marco? She's bluffing. There's no way. First one to prove me wrong gets a cookie. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, Marco. Shira? What, you want us to give it a try? The cookie is a lie! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice reference there. Isn't it kind of dumb to risk your life for something like that? Well, I'd be willing to take the risk anyway. I kind of had a little uh, sneak peek at what happens. What if it's true? Although we still have to contend with the demon on the other side, which could be a problem. Mm. Have the characters realized this in this playthrough, this series of events? That there's a demon? I don't remember. I don't remember either. We might skip the scene. 
What if we can leave this place just like that? Miss Shear is right. I can go with you. Mr. Marco? There's no goddamn way. Oh, Marco, getting hostile again, I see. Off we go. You can only die once, right? They really did go through the barrier. See? Easy peasy. Hmm. All this time. I can't believe this. I assume you weren't aware of this? If I were. Yeah, yeah, you'll agonize about it later. Now shoot, stop testing my patience. <laughs> All humans need to leave for the spell to break. Come on, Marco, let's do this. Hmm. Marco, you're making a mistake. The moment we set a foot outside the barrier, we're gonna die. Yeah, there's the demon. What makes you say that? If we stay here for too long, we're also going to die. Besides, isn't your time running out already? The question is, what kills the demon? Is it the uh, combined form we take whenever we do that special technique? I guess that must be it, know. right? I guess. We didn't get to see it, though. No. I think I'll take my chances by staying here, despite everything. Sorry, Marika. I'll be gone in the next two minutes, so just do everything as you guys planned. Really? Two minutes? My I lack guess of there's a time means difference. Won't make a difference to you. I wish you the best of luck. Oh no. Save? Save as always. What do you want to do? Uh. Alright, I guess we'll let him go for now and see what happens. Easy enough to reload. Okay. Best of luck to you too, Marco. What the hell was he on about? We kind of know already. Just ignore him. I don't know if she knows, though. Like he said, it barely matters to us anymore. Where does it? It does matter if he's going to stay in here. If the barrier doesn't dissolve in the next two minutes, I'm going to kill him with my own hands. Whoa. Don't worry, he'll be gone before you know it. Well then, let's test that theory, shall we? Yeah, let's do this. I wonder, is it going to be a similar ending to the last one? I don't know. Where we get killed, and we do have the others this time. I wonder how that's going to play out. Well, at least I assume the others are still here. Varen was right. We're outside. The barrier really disappeared. That's like no time at all. So he died? I guess so, or he disappeared, or whatever you want to call it. Holy shit, guys. Does this mean we weren't actually trapped anywhere to begin with? Was it this easy all along? Um, that person uh -oh, over there. Uh oh, here we go. That creeper. Yeah, here she comes, all right. Where are you hiding, that son of a bitch? All right, just don't say your name, Mariko. Just don't say your name. If you don't surrender him to me, I'm going to kill every last one of you assholes. I don't remember her voice. My, my, such a filthy tongue you got there, sister. Who is this poor soul you seem to have the hots for? Spare me the sweet talk. I know that felon Che scum is somewhere in here. Don't even try to deny it. Felon Che? She's after Feather? Yeah, we know. Wait, who the hell are you? I have a bad feeling about this. You reek of the Blair Nose. Uh, so she just knows immediately. I thought I already killed all of you. <laughs> Alright, I guess not. What? Someone's oh. being hasty. Oh, that's right. She wants to fulfill her deal with us. She wants to get mm -hmm. what she's owed. Varen? Listen, sister. I have no idea who this Felona whatever is. <laughs> but as for Mariko, keep your filthy hands off of things that don't belong to you. Owned? You, why are you protecting her? Have you lost your mind? Oh, mm. I have my reasons. Really now. And none of them are your business. Oh. Oh, demon fight. Come on, fellow sister of mine. Alright, I guess it got resolved. Show me what you've got. Oh no, they are gonna fight. Let's see this. Swack. We don't see what happens. Wow. It's a cliffhanger ending, this one. 
So what kind of route is this considered? I don't... A good end? Was, I don't know. Oh, that's right. You do see what happens after this plays out. So I guess maybe we'll see a little epilogue. I just have to wait a bit. <laughs> I forgot because we got the bad end a couple of times in a row. So many times. So we didn't get to see exactly uh, what happened in those. And of course you have the rocking outro, as always. So this is very interesting, and I think this is considered a separate route entirely from the other Apris route. Like there's a main uh, Apris yeah, route yeah, 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 and yeah. the Varen route? Yes, there is. So that is good to know. For sure. I'm just like rocking out over here. I know, it's so catchy. So yeah, I guess we'll have to go back to... I'm not even really sure when. I guess when we were like planning to act against Apris by mm -hmm. telling a secret. Right. That's probably where I have to go back to. At least that'd be my guess. Sounds good. Alright, let's see it. What's gonna happen? I just know it says the Knights of Me. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yep. Okay. Weak. I guess we know who won. What a letdown. But what happens to us now? Sex. Obviously. But beyond that... Well, you promised me something. Did I? My memory seems to be failing me. What? Mariko, you little... We had a deal! Oh, no. Did we? She's not gonna like this. Well, I'm not planning to keep my end of it. Oh, then what? she's not going to let us live, I bet. What are you going to do about it? To think someone like you would get outwitted by a mere human. How is it outwitted, though? You just are, you're just like, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Word. There I don't was know. no, like, hmm. there was a trick. I never said deal. It was just like, no, I'm not going to do it. Actually, you're not Howie Mandel, so the deal doesn't count. Oh. Oh, you're no mere human. No? You're clearly more of a monster than I am. <laughs> by denying you are sex? I think I like that about you, actually. I knew you held a lot of promise from the moment you tried killing Apris. Yeah, that is true. If you want to play hard to get, kill him. fine. I'm game. I won't let you be until I get what you what I want from you. Ooh. Good luck, then. You might as well be stuck with me for another eternity. Well, good luck to us, too. I mean, she is a demon. I guess we know the trick to uh, teaming her, though. Like, holding the hand or whatever. Or the tail. <laughs> Bark all you want, Mariko. I'm not one to give up that easily. Yeah, sounds like a dangerous game we're playing here. Very dangerous. Is this a good end? <laughs> I guess. Oh, it's a normal end. Normal end. So there's a good end for her, too. Interesting. Congratulations. There are no clues to be found in Varen's route. Yeah. It's kind of like bonus material. A lady. Okay. Huh, I wonder how we get the good end with her. Or the true end, even. Let me see. Should we try to do that real quick? Okay. I'm not sure how this is going to play out. Is this going to be part of it? I don't see how this would make a difference, but let's see what happens. I feel like it might lead to another bad end. Because aren't there like three? I don't remember. I think we have bad ending C, so maybe this will be another one. You're not going anywhere, young man. Let go of me. You honestly want me to assist you in the suicide? Oh, but if he is Felon Che, that could change things. Maybe, we'll see. Why don't you give it a chance, Marco? You can't keep running away from this forever. I'm not... Oh, it's Varen again. I'm not sure what you two are on about, but you heard the lady. <laughs> if you don't behave, I'm going to gut you myself. Wonderful. Come on. Mark my words, Mariko. Oh no. We're already dead. Well, we weren't. You'd be surprised how this plays out. Don't jump to conclusions just yet. I mean, he may be in trouble. We'll see, I guess. Maybe this will give us a clue about his identity. But since there were no clues, I guess we'll see. One way or the other. Varen was right. We're outside. The barrier really disappeared. Yeah, we're all here. Holy shit, guys. Does this mean we weren't actually trapped anywhere to begin with? Was it this easy all along? Maybe I'll do skip for now, let's see. Whoa, 
Oh, right. Whoa. It plays out exactly the same. Oh, wait. Wait. What? Whoa. Oh. So in the epilogue this time, we meet up with Feather? Yep. Okay. Hey, Feather. How did this happen? <laughs> I brought a new pet. Hope you don't mind. So you're that fedora girl. <laughs> fedora? Girl. I swear, the whole world hates me lately. Wait, you sound like a guy. <laughs> She's going to stay for a while, isn't she? I think I'll go pay the Hans a visit. The Hans? Who's that? Uh. What is this ending? That was random. You just don't get yourself killed. I'll see you around in a few years. <laughs> what? A few years? We barely saw you at all, Feather. Well, that's our first time getting to see Feather since like true the- True uh, end. That was a true end. Okay. Well, that was mysterious. Yeah, we didn't skip anything else, did we? It was just, yeah, it only skips to, yeah. uh... So that was all the new stuff. Mysterious. Hmm. Interesting. Somehow we meet up with Feather again. And we're kind of... I don't know. He's just in the basement of the mansion. So, is that because Marco got out, Feather came back? I don't know. Ooh, we still have to piece this together. I'm not sure how it works out, but yeah. At least we got the true ending now. Mm -hmm. That's all it was to it. But what about Apris? Yes, of course you have to get Apris. That's a different route entirely, unfortunately. So we'll have to reload back to uh, <laughs> when we first decided to kill Apris, or even before that, even. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe not tell a secret. Tell Marco. I guess we'll see if we decide to tell the other people instead, or maybe just no one. Anyway, until then, guys, take care. Bye.